Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. As always, my name is Jay, and in this video I want to talk about the new Games Workshop website. Um, as most of you know, gamesworkshop.com, no longer a thing. Forgeworld.co.uk, no longer a thing. Games Workshop has launched their new website, which is just simply warhammer.com. So that's pretty interesting. If you try to type in gamesworkshop.com or forgeworld.co.uk, gone. It'll just automatically take you to warhammer.com and your country and language of choice. And that's really interesting. I've been using the Games Workshop website for as long as I can remember as of you. And so it's been... Uh, part of the community for years, and ForgeWorld.co.uk. Once again, if you're buying ForgeWorld models, you've been going to that website for years, and now they're gone. Now on one website, combined with the the learning aspect, with a, a link to Warhammer Plus, with the shop, with the starting sets, um, everything in one website under the name Warhammer.com. That's a huge move. It's a semi-rebranding for Games Workshop. That's big. Um, a lot of people have heard it that this was happening for a while. Obviously, like in Canada, where I live, you go to a Warhammer store, or you don't go to a Games Workshop, you go to a Warhammer store. Makes sense. And now, one website for just Warhammer, one brand. I find it's a fine-tuning of the brand, one brand. Yes. Simpler. Yes. Um, also, I really do like the fact that Forge World is now a part of the Games Workshop website. Right? So the, the warmer.com website has both the Games Workshop products and the Forge World products. So you don't have to search in multiple websites for the same, you know, for all your products. It's nice having them all on the same um, website. And that way you can see the new Forge World products in the same website that you can see all the Games Workshop products. The Warhammer 40k products, right? Or Warhammer products. So, yeah. You know what? It's efficient. I find that the website was, I like the, mostly the overall design I like in the game, the new Warhammer.com website. It's very simplistic, it's very clean, it's very neat, I like that. Um, it's not the, I don't know, it's not the most intuitive designed for certain things. Like, let's say I wanted to buy orcs. I would click on Shop, I would then click on Warhammer 40k, I would then click on Xeno's Armies, and then I would click on Orcs. So I'm four clicks in, otherwise I could search a specific model. And then, this part I'm not the biggest fan of. So now, I do like the, the overall layout, right? It shows you all the orcs and nice large photos and their names and their prices. Um, but, it's not very intuitive on how they sort the orc army, or the army that you're looking at, right? Like, let's say you're doing Space Marines, there's a lot of models. Orcs, a lot of models, right? And so, if you click on filters and you see the search, it's sor sorted by relevance. And I don't get that particular one. If you're not using a search function, relevance is kind of a moot point. Because in this case, I clicked orcs. So every model that is in the orc army has an equal amount of relevance to orcs. And then you get to the paints. Right? But the paints aren't in this part. It's all models. So all of the models have an equal orcness. So I don't get why you would default that. I would default by alphabetical, uh, battlefield role or something, but in this particular case, battlefield role no longer exists. It's just simply Xenos armies, orcs, and then it's all the models in that army. You can no longer break down the army um, by a certain thing, right? In this case, by the default setting. So I don't really like the fact that default setting is relevance, because rel what does relevant mean? And if you're just clicking on orcs, everything's orcs, right? It should start off with the codex, Maybe the index cards, the rules, and then go from there. Maybe the HQs, the role, like, you know what I mean? It could even go alphabetical. It could go by price. Just relevance doesn't seem like a pretty good, uh, doesn't seem like the best function to sort from in this particular way. The other thing is, of course, uh, Forge World Models, as I mentioned, they are now part of the website. However, they've been labeled as what are called expert kits. As you can see here with this uh, squigath, it is an expert kit. So that's what they're kind of saying, you know, expert kits versus standard kits. That's going to be their new slogan, basically, for all the Forge World models, is that they, they do take a little bit more expertise, they're resin, and obviously you need they require a lot more fine-tuning to assemble, to paint, uh, to bend back into niceness. Right? But that's cool. But as I said, 
overall, I like this. I do like the simplicity. I like the fact that everything's in the same place. I like this rebranding, the focus on Warhammer, right? Not as our Games Workshop, the product. Warhammer. To me, it kind of reminds me of years ago, there is uh, all the Blackberries, right? All the Blackberry phones. It used to be by a company called Research in Motion, RIM. And that one day they said, you know what? We're known to be, we're known for the Blackberry. Let's just call ourselves Blackberry. And it made sense. In this case, Games Workshop is known for Warhammer, Warhammer 40k, and Lord of the Rings. So calling themselves Warhammer and focusing on Warhammer, this is the name Warhammer.com, and everything in the same website makes a lot of sense. Yeah. What do you think? Leave comments in the comment section down below of what you think about the new Warhammer.com website. Do you like it? Do you miss the old Games Workshop website? Do you miss the old Forgeworld.co.uk website? You know, what are the pros? What are the, the weaknesses of this website so far? But I think it's interesting. I think it's a rebranding. I, I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to order my, uh, probably order one of those Christmas Battle Force in the near future on the Games Workshop new website for the Warhammer.com website. Yeah, i got to stop saying Games Workshop website now. I'll have to get that out of my memory. But luckily, if you type it in, it takes you right to the website anyway. That's the most times I've said website in a video. But stay tuned for more reviews. Leave comments in the comment section down below. And please subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. It really does help a lot. Stay tuned for more videos about rules and reviews and paints. Until next time, this is Jay saying happy painting using the new Warmer.com website.